What's going on today? Uh, nothing. Just a boring old regular day. In New York City, baby! I set up to make a video in front of this, I feel like I'm doing a My Strange Addiction interview. <laughs> On this week's episode, I can't stop buying Switch games. <laughs> That's why we're here today. A couple years ago, I made a few videos in Japan searching for Nintendo Switch games. I loved those videos. They were really fun to make. Since I moved here to PA, I'm only about a short hour train ride from New York City, another very exciting place to go in general, but also to look look for Nintendo Switch games. There are loads of video game stores in New York City, including Nintendo's own store, which is filled with exclusive things that you can only get there. So you guys liked the vlog videos of me in Japan. Why not do that in New York? Well, first, we gotta get there. So we're catching a train from New Jersey to New York City. The plan was to vlog a lot of the trip up, but we were running a bit late. We almost missed the train. And then Kim and I had to sit in separate seats, so I barely got to film any of the gorgeous train ride. I did manage to get a shot of New York City from out the window as we were approaching it, but uh, I didn't realize that it was completely overexposed and you can't see anything but sunlight. Let's just cut to being there. So going to New York actually serves two purposes because Bob and I have a podcast. Wood came to town to record our podcast, the Nintendo podcast. And while he was here, he wanted to do some game hunting, specifically Switch games, because that's like the thing that he does. But before that, Scoot rocked up. Wood, this is the first time I've seen you today. Here's a Pokemon card pack I bought. Whoa, awesome. I know. Where'd you get it? Right across the street. Across the street? Across the street, and there were more, and they were only a dollar. A dollar for chilling rain packets a across the street? A dollar for chilling rain packets across well, the street. Boy, how? Let's go! Whoa, New York is so cool. <laughs> hey, is that Spider-Man? <laughs> oh, I'm definitely still here in New York City. Oh, hey. Sorry, these busy streets of New York can get really loud, but thankfully I have my noise-isolating Raycons with me. The Raycon Everyday Earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. <laughs> good thing they start at half the price of other premium wireless earbuds on the market. Also, good thing they're sponsoring this video. You want ramen? <laughs> you guys get some. There's a guy over here giving out free CDs. Free? With eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life, it's no wonder that Raycon's Everyday Earbuds have over 50 and five star reviews. Not to mention, Raycons will not fall out of your ears no matter what, even if you're jumping or running after a taxi. I'm being serious when I say I love my Raycons. I do actually use them every day when I'm working out, going for a walk, or even cleaning around the house. They are compact and great for traveling. They have three customizable sound profiles, so whether you're listening to music or a podcast, Raycon has you covered with great audio quality. Wood, we found Switch games. Yeah, I'll be there in a second. Don't buy anything without me. Look, I gotta be quick, but click the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com forward slash beat-em-ups to get 15% off your purchase. I have people message me all the time thanking me for recommending Raycon, so join the game. You got a free CD? No, the CDs weren't free. I had to give them 10 bucks. Boy, how? Let's go! That's an insane price. So this weekend was already starting off with a bang. The plan was to go and buy Pokemon cards at this cool store later on the weekend, but why would we need to do that when there's $1 packs right across the street? We asked him how much the packs were, and sure enough, he said a dollar. So we asked, well, how much for what's left? He turns around and pulls out a whole brand new booster box. Something feels off. I'd opened Chilling Rain before, and this didn't look right. He just sold us a whole ass booster box for $40. Are you it's $90 under profit. Is it real? <laughs> Yeah, no, that's 100% real. So open them. <laughs> we were excited. We thought we snuck out of there, stolen, ripped money right out of the man's hand. I just got a whole booster box for $40. They don't know what they're selling. How did wow. they get it then? How did they get it then, Bob? Who are you? Why are you here? 
They were fake. I feel so stupid. Eight-year-old me could tell the difference. 31-year-old me just spent $40 on a whole booster box of these. So, Scoot, remember when we were at the store and I was like, those are real, right? And you said yes. What did we just find out, buddy? They're the best f***ing packs. Yeah. Tornadus V Full Art. Tornadus V Art. Volcanian. Tornadus V. That was just two packs and there were Buddy, Four. buddy, they're all fake. You dingus. I'd like to defend Jackson here because you bought them. He uh, said they were real. I never opened like, them. He's the certification for real. Pokemon cards. He doesn't know. You know what? I'm just going to go rub boot myself out of here. This man. Look at me. I got one of the rarest cards in the deck. So cool. I am embarrassed. <laughs> And I'm gonna go home. I'm actually, I'm real happy right <laughs> Bye, now. Bye, Jackson. That new haircut looks real good on the way out. No! Whoa. You are Thank you. Good. I was actually scared it was a bad haircut. No, you're welcome. <laughs> I still blame Scoot. Really, I should also blame myself. Good old New York City. Uh, it's the place where dreams come true. Maybe. I don't know. There's a bunch of game stores here. So like near us, we only have game stops. But here in New York City, there's a bunch of mama pop stores as well as the Nintendo store is here. So I want to see what kind of weird and wacky Switch games I can find for this thing. We have a cast of characters coming with us today. Kim's behind the camera. Hi, Kim. Hi. We also have Bob, E, Scoot, and maybe some other special guests, but we'll see. Hi, we're at My Plastic Heart because Kim really wanted to come here. Hey, okay, stop it! You thought I was gonna do it. It's in Brooklyn and it's really cute and I, uh, it's okay. full of blind boxes and stuff. It is a really cool store. It mostly has blind box figures. You don't know what a blind box is. They're little mini figures, all different kinds, and you never know exactly what you're gonna get in your box, but that's the fun of it. You also had a half-naked Ronald McDonald with fries sticking out of his speedos that I guess were supposed to represent pu pu pubic hair. Oh, I think it would look really good next to your uh, Kirby. It's no, I don't think so. I don't think so. And even an adorable little puppy that was running loose around the store and at one point escaped the store and then ended up running down the street. He's fine. They got him back. What did you get? I got one of the little guys with the inset eyes. I'm hoping that it's the ghost one that I want. I got a frog guy. Oh. Is this the Halloween one? What no. is this? He's orange. He's got a hat. He's May. May. He's got a hat. He kind of looks like Scoot. He does. What did you get? I, I got oh, the one that I saw. Homer. I got it. Yeah. Whoa. This is cool. Yeah. So I saw it from outside. I was like, I got it. Yeah, get it's really cool. We came here especially for Kim because she to go. has wanted to go to my plastic cart the last couple of times. Yeah. Now I know what you might be thinking. Wood and Bob are together in New York City and they haven't been drinking coffee yet? <laughs> Don't worry, it's coffee time. Coffee time? Yes. Good. Coffee time. We had a couple of coffee shops in mind, but we found Homecoming, which was very close to where we were in Greenpoint and it was freaking awesome. While we were there, I saw somebody order a dirty chai and I was, and it gave me an idea later that night. When I got home, I made myself uh, just a wine bottle full of dirty chai latte. So today, we're hunting Nintendo Switch games in New York. Well, really any. We haven't gotten there yet. We haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> we're about to get on a train from Brooklyn to go to the new Nintendo New York store, where we'll probably find stuff. We, where did oh you go? Oh my God. Bob em ups? <laughs> People are looking. I'm gonna go catch a train now. It's an Uber. But yeah, I didn't want to correct you during your own vlog. <laughs> and then Bob called an Uber and then tried to get in some random person's car. And he was like, no, 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 I'm not an Uber. Why are you opening my door? <laughs> It like almost fit the description of the Uber. It really didn't like at all. I don't know what happened. He just pulled up in front of me. 
I don't want to talk about it. Now it's time to leave Brooklyn and head to the heart of New York. Literally, because it is kind of in the middle of New York City, but also just where my heart lies in New York, the Nintendo store. I freaking love the Nintendo store. I've been here so many times over the last five or six years, and every time I walk in, I never know what to expect. They're always changing and mixing up the layout of the store, adding in new merch and different games and plushies, and it's always a new experience. Until they find finally put in the Nintendo world at Universal Studios here in America. This store is my Nintendo Disney. They of course had Nintendo Switch games. I feel like I have to have everything that's at the Nintendo store. I'm gonna try and find something I don't have. Hopefully something that's kinda... Cheap, cheap, you're right. Okay. Okay, no, I definitely have that. I got that. Three games in one. I do, I have, the, I have that as well. All right, I wouldn't start just handing me all the games, too. guys. But why not? We're at the <laughs> All right, oh, Well, actually, I don't have that. That's... There's three in there. Yeah, I actually don't have that. I'm surprised oh, that's three. here. Look, this is weird for a couple of reasons. The main one is just that it's GTA. That's not kid-friendly. I know Nintendo is all-inclusive now, right? Like, they'll let anything come on the Switch. But I didn't think they would advertise G-U-N-S at the store. Like, these are pretty intense R-rated games for Nintendo. But also just the fact that these ports were pretty much universally panned as terrible. Terrible. So they're not great versions of the games. The games are GTA and they're here right on Nintendo. Of course I had to buy that. I mean, if it's at the Nintendo store, it has to be a good game, right? No. I wasn't sure if we would find anything here I didn't have because we're in Nintendo store. So I assumed it would just be all first party games. Also surprisingly, there was just a bunch of stuff I hadn't seen before. Everything from third parties to indies. I mean, what is Lost Worlds Beyond the Page? I had never seen this before. And Initially, it almost looked like a book learning game for children, but I looked at the back and it's filled with positive reviews. Five out of five, 10 out of 10s. But I also found a game called Surviving the Aftermath. It's a post-apocalyptic survival game. It looks like maybe strategy. I thought the box art was interesting and figured I should grab something I didn't have. Scoot pointed out something interesting. They still had a couple of Relic 3DS games in the store. This is what Nintendo chooses to remember the 3DS by. Fire Emblem Warriors and Sushi Striker, the way of the Good Sushido. Choices. Good choice. Good, Good choice. choice. One game that played terribly on the base 3DS and one game that's maybe $5 now on the eShop. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the unique items they have in the Nintendo store that you can really only get here. So many variations of Pokemon plushies. You had these twin Pikachus in raincoats. You had Pikachu dressed as Charizard. You had Pikachu dressed as just about anything you can dress Pikachu in. They have a little bit of everything. They got a bunch of Switch games. They have Animal Crossing Builder Bears. There's the one at the actual Builder Bear where you can put a thing in it and he's singing. That's nice. This one doesn't sing. They have a Scoot wearing a Magikarp hat, apparently. So, oh. Which I hope you're buying now since you put your sweaty head all over it. Hat? <laughs> this is amazing. And Bob's getting a Splatoon manga because it's Bob. Really cool. <laughs> It's a really cool store. Really loud though. I'm begging of you, if you work there and you're watching this, sell me that giant link whenever you do close down. That is my life's goal. I want that guy in my bedroom. Next time I'll try being a little bit more of a shy guy. Another reason why I love the Nintendo store is it's not just a place to buy Nintendo stuff. It's also a Nintendo museum. If you've been here, you already know about this and a lot of you probably already heard about it, but this Game Boy survived the Gulf War. It's still turned on and playing right now. It looks like my original Game Boy. <laughs> That was a joke. That was a joke for me. Oh, that was my joke. They have every console that they've ever released in pristine position on display. But on top of that, they have every single amiibo that's ever been released, even the Japanese exclusive ones. You get out of my shot. No, please. You always level me up to fire Mario in my heart. Oh, I thought you were going to shoot me with it. You were no. shaking like, I don't want to do this. No, I love you. Oh, okay. I love it's, you, it's but a, not like a, that. A... Like a friend, like a good friend. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. yeah, okay. Sure. Cool. Good. Good. 
a giant projector LED LCD screen. I, I don't know what it is, but every time I go there playing a different game on it, like Mario Kart or Mario Strikers, they actually host a lot of the E3 directs at the Nintendo store and they'll put it on that giant screen. If you're a Nintendo fan, you have to visit here at some point. Also, the people that work there are super nice. The next stop on our list of places is JNL, a video game store in New York City that Bob loves that he wants to take us to. I bought a OLED switch. I figured I didn't have enough. What are you going to do with it? Put it in the oven and burn it and see how, long, <laughs> see how many degrees it takes. Jesus Christ. I'm going to uh, melt this one in an oven and see how long it takes. It's the life of a YouTuber. Bob and Scoot kept telling us about this game store in New York called JNL Games. Apparently it was a huge store that had a ton of Nintendo Switch stuff and it's in walking distance from the Nintendo store, but there's another really cool store on the way. Kino Kunya, I, I like it. It's very unique. It's huge. There's three floors. The bottom floor is like stationary and Japanese magazines. The middle floor is Japanese books. And then the top floor is all the weeb stuff the manga english and japanese and it's got all the the, the the weeb toys and stuff i'm pretty sure it's a chain i think they have them in multiple cities but it's very unique they also have a little cafe at the top that's really cute i love going there and i almost never buy anything <laughs> Also, I want to say it was awesome that we got recognized in this store. It really did make this just feel like somewhere that we belong. Everyone is so nice, by the way. You make some new friends, Bobby? I did. Yeah, that's cute. Look at that smile. I didn't want to, I didn't want to point and be like, Woods over there. Because like, <laughs> what if they don't, you know? They might not know me. You see this? Oh, that's cool. What is it? It's a bag. A bag. It's pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. You getting it? Nope. Okay. You guys might not be able to hear any of this. We're going to a card store now. Well, no, we're going to JNL. We're going and that's to Bryant Park. Now. All right. That's Bryant Park. Thank you, Bingo. What happened, buddy? Oh. It ripped. Oh no! Did you drop it? Yeah. Is it okay? It's fine. Buddy. We're oh. here. We made it. Oh, we are here. Yeah, you're getting a new get bag in bag. there, buddy. I can't explain what it was like walking into JNL and seeing thousands of Nintendo Switch games. He's here! I'm such a big fan. This is more Switch games than I've ever seen. This is actually more than my house and much more than GameStop. We're gonna find more than GTA here. This was the most amount of red cases I'd seen in any store ever. Thousands of Nintendo Switch games packed in like sardines in a can so tightly that you could barely even see any of the cover art. I was working with slithers. I can't really make out what anything is, especially all these Japanese games where I can only see the spine. I got no way of knowing without having someone like rifle through all of it. So I could literally just lucky dip pick and see what I get. But that's the best I can really do. I'm trying really hard to find anything that's like under $60 that I don't already have. I'm starting to realize why they have so many games. They can't sell them. Go over a little bit. Up. Your hand's almost on it on the left. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. I want to see what that is. There's like a cute little guy on it. Sorry that I'm going to mess everything up. Yeah, this. I wanted to see what this was. I don't know. That but is cute. Super cute. Game looks kind of bad, but... Oh, this is the uh, Story of Seasons one that's just getting an English release now. Oh, cool. Yeah. I wonder if it'll have a physical. They're holding the physical. I mean, an English release physical, because I like buying them otherwise. Like, I don't want you to buy the, my games for me. I'm going to buy, like, my Final Fantasy games. I was trying to add them all in to get mine. Oh. One of mine's 100. Oh, I understand. Just trying to... I got it, I got it, yeah. I got it. So we're looking at Japanese games. These are UK games. So they're going to be English, but they might have something different. Your that's favorite game! Is that a Switch controller? That's a steal. Yeah. What, the 100? Here, I'm just, we're just going to put that in the that's buy the pile. It's for, for Project Lucky you. I'm a little confused, King. You just you just remove Xenoblade from the buy. Oh, my hand slipped. Oh no! Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. My little famous superstar. Okay, so I'm gonna get Guns of Mercy, which yes. is a UK release. It just looks kind of cool. I'm not even gonna Google the price. I don't want to know. Guns of Mercy is interesting. Apparently, it's actually a pretty fun game. But it turns out there's several different versions of the cover art. There's my version that has a blue, red, and green variant, and then even a 
completely different art variant for one. So from what I gather, my red version is the UK release. This game Bob looked up, turns out the price is accurate. It actually does look kind of cute. It's actually cheaper here. It's actually $10 cheaper here. So I've been learning Japanese very slowly for like two years. I just Googled what it what it said on the thing. And, and that's how I found the game for wood. Other than the cute doggo and other characters on the box art, what caught my eye was that it's a game published by Square Enix. Roughly translated, it's Spelunker Party. Apparently it's not the greatest game, but cute fun. And considering it's apparently hard to find, I think it's a great addition for the collection. One review I found online said it's deceptively hard and reminds them of Monster Hunter, which is interesting. And it also looks like there is English for this game, if I'm willing to crack the seal on my new $100 Switch game. And then Hell Waters? No clue what that is, but it's 18 plus, kind of looks like Dark Souls. So turns out there is an English physical of Hell Waters that you can buy at GameStop for $20. Uh, I want to say that I do think my cover art looks a lot cooler though. The Japanese aesthetic to it all is definitely a plus. I ended up buying as we were walking out the store that Damon X Mark and Unlimited edition on Amazon because it was 130. <laughs> I didn't know it existed. What did you get? I got both Final Fantasy games uh, that are on the Switch. I guess all three, really. I'm so proud of you. Do you want to know the best part about these? What? I own them and they were $20 on the eShop. Yeah. <laughs> That's my life. I paid $100 more for both of these. You're doing the right, you're doing it the right way. I don't think I am. I made a financial mistake. Holy crap, it's Pikachu. Oh my God. Shouldn't have done that. I'm so happy today. I got a Tribute 64 and a little Mario Nintendo Switch stand, but I got them on Amazon because they were way cheaper than here. I saw it there and bought it on Amazon for half the price, both of those things. So JNL is just window shopping for me. They had some pretty rare and exclusive amiibos, a ton of accessories and controllers, and even weird and wacky things that I had bought for weird Nintendo Switch accessory videos in the past, and I didn't know anyone else knew they even existed. If you want to go and look at a store that has a ton of really cool Switch stuff, this is the store. This guy, and I can't say thank you enough, was going down to these stacks and grabbing handfuls out at a time, letting me look through them, putting them back, grabbing out the next handful. I mean, these cases went on for what felt like a mile. I must have gone through at least half of it. Now, I know what you're thinking. We're in New York. Where's the pizza? We not only had pizza, we had the greatest pizza. No, and I'm not talking the greatest pizza in New York. No, the world's greatest pizza is what it said on the wall in the store. <laughs> I can't believe that we, we like barely spent any time in Manhattan and we, we just stumbled across the world's greatest pizza. So when you're in New York, you always have to get New York pizza. And this is the best New York pizza in town as rated by a guy on Yelp, probably. I got a Sicilian and Kim got a pepperoni. It's the, like a chain one, right? It's like chain pizza. Yeah. The real reason we're here is because Kim and I were peeing our pants and just needed a toilet. Coincidentally, this pizza also tastes like a bathroom. Oh. No, I actually like it. It's not bad. The one slice that shouldn't have flop has flop. I should not yeah. flop. If the grandma should be crispy. Did you know anything? He's Italian, I don't have any idea. The grandma slice was like the saddest grandma slice me and Fry have ever seen in our lives. It was fine, it was... It was pizza, it was pizza. I mean, it was pizza. So sadly, I, well not really, cause the day's been awesome, but we did plan to go to a bunch of other places after this, but uh, we're running out of time. Kim and I have to catch a train home at 6 p.m. We, we mostly ran out of time because we got brunch this morning. It took him an hour and a half to bring us our food. So we were kind of backed up and delayed. So this is going to be the last stop. It's a card store where Scoot and I are looking for Magic the Gathering cards and Pokemon cards. A little different to Switch games. We want to get into playing Magic magic and Pokemon is Pokemon. The Pokemon card company have recently released a collaboration card set with Pokemon Go and we wanted to get some. Oh, here they are. Pokemon cards. No, silly. Those they are bicycles. They have the rare bicycle sets. <laughs> oh my god, those are like a thousand, a million yen. That's a Pokemon joke. I know Pokemon. These are real. <laughs> These are real this time. We checked. How embarrassed would you feel for us if you learned that we went to a bodega and bought a $40 booster pack of Pokemon cards and they were all fake? 
It's just like obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Okay, final stop of the day. There's these new limited edition Pokemon Go. I'm, the, are they limited edition? They are. You could say that. Pokemon Go collaboration with Pokemon, which name another company that collaborates with themselves. Uh, Pokemon card trading card game releases. I have no idea what these look like. The Pokemon company themselves sent me a giant box of these. Really? Yeah, it was really cool. I haven't opened Jealous. it yet. So why did you buy those? Because I didn't get this one. They had a different oh. set they sent me. Also, because like, you could never have too many Pokemon cards, Bob, oh. unless they're fake from a bodega across oh, the street. Jesus. And then you really can have enough Pokemon cards. I feel cards. like... We should just let that go, you know, move on. I will agree to let it go right here, right now. Okay. If you give me your Pokemon cards. No. Each. Well, we shook hands on it. No, but like... And I guess I ain't letting it go. <laughs> oh, he's a little slippery snake from down under. And then that was the end of the day. We took a short walk over to Penn Station and all went our separate ways. The boys catching their trains back towards Brooklyn. Kim and I catching our Amtrak on the way back to PA. Overall, it was fun. It was like a cute little date. It was like taking someone around, around the city. I didn't get a kiss at the end. So it was like kind of a huge waste for, for me. Well, this is where we all say goodbye. We had such a nice trip. Get in here, Phil. Get on in here. We're, we had such a nice trip with all of you. Names now. What? You never do that. Yes, I do, Scoop. Yeah, we always call you. <laughs> Okay. We had such a fun trip. We're in the Moyahan train station. It's time to end the trip. We got so much cool Nintendo Switch stuff. Oh, we love New York, don't we, I buddy? I got a Magikarp. All right, well, we're not looking for the <laughs> I whole got thing. a what? We appreciate you for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that crap. Um, links to everyone's channel and stuff down below. And uh, we'll come back and do this again if you guys liked it. Because there's always more Switch stuff to find. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? We're running out. We need more content. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye. Next time, I'm going to get more coffee, <coughs> better pizza, and more Switch games, <laughs> and anime figures, and manga. I'm gonna need a bigger bag.